We're live. Hi, everyone. It should work. We shouldn't be muted. Everything's fine. Hi. Good. Uh, good evening. It's been an awful while uh, since we last played The Witcher. So welcome back to uh, our Witcher TTRPG stream, The Witcher Final Age. Uh, today's episode is called The Dark One of the Woods. And uh, let's just go, before we recap our last um, session, let's just go around the table and introduce ourselves. Who are we playing? Uh, tell us a bit of what your character is in like a sentence or so. Uh, and we'll also introduce our guest for the evening uh, at, uh, at the end of like the other players. So we'll start with first player to my left, uh, Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren. Um, I am playing Ilona, the... Uh, elf bard. Cool, cool. Steven. Hey, everyone. I'm Steven. I'm playing Kahir, a uh, knight from Ficovario, and uh, I'm a confused little sad boy. Okay, wait, hang on. You didn't say your full name. It's tradition. It's not. It's not a proper witcher game. I was going to say that. Say I was yeah. going to say that. All right, here it goes. We gotta take a deep breath. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Steven. I'm playing Kahir Carrie Twin, different bit weird, and uh, yeah, swords and stuff, and a horse. And a horse. I have a horse. Yes. I gotta find a cool horse name. Like Betty or something. I don't know. It's never gonna be as cool as my horse's name, Buckwheat. <laughs> uh, speaking of the owner of Buckwheat, Jillian, who are you playing? Hi guys, my name is Jillian. I'll snow super gaming on Twitch and Twitter, and I will be playing your local Witcher, Ariella, who is well, maybe starting a new relationship already. Who is now going to be our next person to introduce ourselves? Go! Oh, oh hi. <laughs> yep. Uh, my name's uh, Manny, a.k.a. Bag of Snails, and I'm playing Edric, uh, the the mage of the group. Uh, covered in scars, totally, uh, you know, not a liar. Uh, that's not a thing I do ever. That's 100% true. 100% honest and completely reasonable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, without spoiling anything... How about our new guest tonight? Who are you and who are you playing? Hi. Um I'm I'm Koros R R RBG. I am very glad to be here. And I'm gonna be playing somebody who knows so someone in the cast. I'm not gonna say who. Um oh. and will show up shortly, I'm sure. But besides that, I refuse to tell this cast anything other than what they already know. All right. The cameras got screwed up for a second. Just don't move everyone. So sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know who who It was it was you snails. I it saw was me. That. I was it trying was to adjust my... No problem. It's going to be fine. I'm coming in a little loud. So just try to adjust my my audio volume and the uh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Well, there we go. We're back up. It's not a problem. <sighs> oh, so wait, I'm, I'm Egypt now. Oof. No, I, you're not. I just looked at the stream. Yeah, the stream like, is a bit behind. Yeah. So, um, before we jump in uh, into today's episode, who would like to recap? What do you remember, collectively or individually, uh, what happened last time? Thank you for the uh, ice party. I think Elsa might have been there. <laughs> yep. Y'all learn to let it go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we. Def so I. I was. I got in part of it, but I know that we were heading to the Lord Mayor's house. They said they said that he hasn't come back out in like a couple days or so. So we went in. Everything's frozen to ice. And we find the Lord Mayor and two Nilf guardians trapped in the ice. So we try to help them out. And then, uh, Man 
Idric gets mad at one of them because there's just basically no guardian and tries to kill them with fire, basically. Like you would do with a spider. And everyone got mad at him. So, we got a reward. We left. Everyone, everyone except Idric got a horse. And we just went back to Oxenfurt. But then I stopped by the farm and I told the farmers that they keep their money. Mm-hmm. And they were very happy about that. And then the night before we made it to uh night before we made Oxford, Manny gave me a Egypt gave me a Ariella a gift. And they had a little talk that night. And they didn't get out till the next morning. And then when we got back to Oxford, there was a note on the door. Yep. And the note said um, to meet whoever was the author of said note in, uh, and I, I think I described it as a circle of stone. Um, but Idric, you would know this place as a place of power that you visited before. It is to the southeast of Novigrad. So about halfway between Novigrad and Oxenfurt. Um, the note was mentioning that whoever wrote it said something along the lines of, uh, you were right about Idric and that they needed help, that their friends were in trouble and potentially the whole of Redania. The letter was written in elder speech, uh, actually in the elvish, elven dialect. And that's what we're going to pick back up tonight. As you four are standing in front of the lit candle. What do you do? I right hear is uh, eating the potato that he's pulled out of the saddlebag. Sure. Um, it was quite a walk back, and he's he's a little hungry. Ha, are you eating a potato raw? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I recall like something about it's dangerous, but all right. Uh, it. Eating a lot of raw potatoes can poison you. A single raw potato is very hard on the stomach and tends to cause diarrhea. So, <laughs> oh, okay. we'll see what happens. Uh, Edric is kind of looking at the note, and uh, he sees Kahir eating a raw potato. <laughs> Kahir, uh, come in. The least I can do is feed you over the. Well, I pay for the the work you did. And he's going to unlock the door and uh, put the note down on the table as he goes and starts a fire. Uh, the old-fashioned way, as opposed to using magic. Oh. I was going to Igni the fire, damn it. <laughs> Igni is a huge spread! <laughs> it doesn't have to be! No, you can, you can focus it to just light up a torch. Okay. If you want. <laughs> yeah, you can... Like, you don't have to go all out and like burning Otherwise, hands. Otherwise, in The Witcher Three, just like every time you light a candle, it'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> that, okay, true story. That's how I lit most of the candles because I could never get, I could never get the thing right. You can never aim. You just uh, yeah. press E. <laughs> anyway, so you light a fire the old-fashioned way. It takes a few minutes. Uh, and I, I assume I have some like non-perishables. Um, just kind of stocked up, like, uh... Yeah, you have, like, pickled food. Like, and, like, dried meats or whatever. Yeah. And I'm gonna... Uh, Idric will start, uh, just preparing some food and tea over the fire, letting people settle in. Uh, the inside of the lit candle, this floor, it's a two-floor, a story building, um, there's, a basically a long table, uh, with benches on either side, where, you, obviously, a lot of meeting happens. Uh, and then there's a couple of shelves with some uh, kind of what appears to be reference material, um, just various books and such. And there's uh, like a small little kitchenette area. It's very, very like what you would see in a studio apartment, very base uh, with a little wash basin. Um, okay. and that, there's not a lot here.
Um, if he's put the note down, mm -hmm. uh, I want to look at it and see if I can glean anything out of it about um, who these people are, other than elves. Sure, make a um, make a human perception check. Um, I know it's weird, but in this game, yeah. insight All is human, human perception. perception. Everyone's a human. Well, oddly enough, because they're elves, you don't have a minus two to it because you're also an elf. Oh, I didn't know I had a minus two to it. Okay. Well, yeah. it's no, it's only if you human perception someone that's not of your race. Anyway, um, so you know they had a rough. Uh, um, a, a, uh, a rough time growing up. Um, they are also left-handed. They like the color blue, the mm -hmm. smell of uh, lavender. Mm -hmm. They are also very fond of... I don't know, what do you want to know with a 23? You can know anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, I just want to know who, like, who are they? You know, like, is this Goyatel? Is this... Yeah, it's... Uh, okay, so it was written hastily by someone who's actually left-handed. Um, you notice it because of the smudge marks on, on the paper. Yeah, I know this that. This like. person has a very well uh, detailed calligraphy. They are probably a scribe or someone who has to write a lot in life. Uh, so that even when they wrote this note in haste, it still looks like it is... Um, like well written it's not like chicken scratch like i would do with my cursive um the instructions on it like the coordinates to find them the meeting place that they left out is typical scoyatel you know meet us by the bush blah 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 three hours away from the lake or whatnot um nothing in the text itself identifies the author as being a member of the scoyatel Okay. Um, and one more thing that you do notice is that the paper smells faintly of um, smoke, fire, smoke, like campfire. Um, so it was probably written in advance somewhere around a campfire and then pinned to Ijuk's door. Shouldn't have been very long ago. The person that wrote it also um, was scared the hand was trembling. It's written hastily, but it was also written in a very trembling hand. Okay, I just wanna... I think it's awesome. I'm the detective! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the detective. But right now, you're also making food. Yeah, you're making dinner. I know, it's like, just... Now. You, you, you just had like a... You had a, you had a real Sherlock Holmes moment, and I'm like... Huh. She rolled what is coming from my job? She rolled a 23 on human <laughs> perception. What can I say? Is, is Steven, did you just like sword somebody? Is that what that roll was? You're just like, Chop, chopping up my potato. <laughs> <laughs> um, the potato had an armor of 10, so that's 12 points above. It's like a that's master a, chef, just like. <laughs> well, that's a crit. So let's roll on the potato location chart to see uh, where you hit. I mean, if you wanted to chop it up in, in pieces, you, you can easily chop it up in pieces. This is now the Witcher, the final potato. <laughs> <laughs> so it takes it takes a few minutes it's to get the fire. Fucking raw. <laughs> it takes a few minutes to get the fire going to um, prepare whatever stew I guess you want to prepare. Probably. Just put a bunch of leftovers in a in a pot. Idrik is not an accomplished cook, uh, he, but it should be passable. Yeah, I mean, we've all been to college. You just take a pot and you put whatever you find in your pantry in there. Mm -hmm. Hope hope for the best. <laughs> uh, Idrik will actually ask to hear, do you want to cook the rest of that potato? Kahir uh, kind of looks and he's like, oh, um... And he has this look on his face, like he realizes, hey, that'd be a pretty good idea. And chewing loudly, he probably says something like, yeah, um, here you go. I will, uh, I will just 
stick it <laughs> next to the fire, like into the fire on the coals or whatever to like cook the rest of the potato. Uh, I'll stab it a couple of times so it vents properly and throw some salt over it and just go for it. <laughs> sure. I'm not going to ask you to roll that. There's just no point in rolling for that. <laughs> Um, while this meal is getting prepped up and everything, um, do anybody want to do anything or are you just sitting by around the table waiting for the food to be ready, resting your legs after this long, almost, almost a I'm day just, long journey? I'm just sitting in a chair, just looking at the pendant that, that Egypt gave me that I'm now wearing, mm -hmm. just staring at it. It's not. It's not been in, like infused or anything. So it no, won't, I know. It won't work as a proper witcher medallion unless you like go through whatever those rituals are. No, I, I have like two medallions on now. One's fake, one's real. Um, but it does. It does glint in the firelight. Uh, Ilona is not sitting. Actually, she is standing near the door. Um, kind of looking at Kikir, like, come on, let's go. Let's get our money and go. <laughs> <laughs> Kira, Kira, I think, are you Kira's waiting for obsessed by Kira. Kira turns around and notices that he's being stared at and he drops his head and gets up and walks over to Ilona and says do you think maybe we can get a bite of eat first I mean with the money he's going to pay us, we could buy something much nicer. If good point. <laughs> I think perhaps the sun got to my head while we were walking. Perhaps. Look, he's gone to this trouble. You go eat and I will find somewhere for us to stay for the night. That would be lovely. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find a find a nice inn. Alright. As you leave the lit candle, the camera zooms out completely out of the streets of Oxenfurt and flies, pans high above the clouds and dives onto a um, patch of woods where currently stands a woman and a man, an elf and what appears to be a human. That probable human, um, because we don't know exactly which race it could be, um, would you care to describe Lady Elsina for us, Koros? Um, Alcina is a tall woman with uh, with uh, with e with a with ebony skin, um, short um, hair shaved on the sides with wool tufts coming out to one side. Um, she has a a face about her that all that always has this sort of smile at the tip the tip the tips of her cheek her cheeks. Um, and you can see that she's wearing this, um, I forget the word for, for it, but it's the, like cloth armor pat padding. Oh, the um, gambazon. Yeah. She has a deep red wine ga a ga a ga a ga a gambazon that is split um, um, uh, with a few, a few, a few buttons l loose on, on, uh, on the front. Um, warm uh, brown uh, uh, pants with uh, worn, uh, but uh, s seemingly still well taken care care, uh, care of boots. Um, on her um, on her uh, side, she has a belt um, with a silver uh, clasp, um, where there are two knives that are pressed into uh, to slots as as well as a few small bags on, um, on, um, on it. And besides them is a small curved blade with a bronze tinted hilt with a green serpent 
kind of coiled at the end. Um, and on her back, she has two swords, one silver and one steel, um, with, and on the hilts are two snake heads that are kind of opened, uh, their fangs ex, ex, um, um, exten, exten, extended. On her neck is an entwined serpent on a silver chain, and her eyes are, are, are inhuman. They are like cat's eyes or snake eyes, but instead of the usual shade of witcher's glow behind them, they said have this bright silver to them. And you can see on her neck and on parts of her exposed hands, there are a number of bronze scales that are kind of just poking out at spots. The elf brings you into a clearing, um, and you feel, Lady Elsina, you feel your medallion buzzing, humming softly. As you enter the clearing, the elf says, This is where we were when, when it all happened. Uh, there's not much left anymore. Um, and as you look around, you notice this circle of... I mean, circle... There are like four standing stones, which could probably make a circle, could make a square, um, mm -hmm. but they do um, like form a, let's say, rough circle in the clearing. Um, and the ground, the grass has been trampled between these four stones uh, as if someone had walked back and forth across all the stones multiple times. Uh, when you bend over to look at the grass, you notice that uh, in many uh, places there are still there's still a good amount of salt, uh, sometimes in, uh, mixed in with white or whitish sand. Mm -hmm. The elf says, "We, uh, I, I, I tried to go get the help of a mage too. There's one I know in Oxenfurt." Uh, and he's visibly still shaken. You remember this elf running uh, to you in Novigrad, uh, asking for a witcher, asking for anyone who was magically inclined, willing to pay a small fortune to what, in his words, protect Redania and the world from a big mistake. Mm -hmm. You smell in the air the coppery scent of blood it's been a while you couldn't pinpoint exactly uh, off the top of your head how many days it's been but are it there, has been days are there any corpses around um yes okay he says he uh didn't move anyone uh, but they they are not where they were when they were fell by whatever it is that happened and he motions uh, almost hidden behind each stone is an elf dressed in uh, patchwork robes one of them has a broken staff uh, one of them has uh, a bloodied uh, sacrificial knife like a, like a chris in one hand and the, his other hand is uh, bandaged but you notice the bandage has soaked up a lot of blood. Um, all of them are dead. Blood splatters, blood spatters in the back of them um, on the rocks. And as you approach each one of them, you notice at the base of their neck, these two very, very deep holes surrounded by um, smaller puncture wounds. Mm-hmm. The bodies, by the way, are like gray white. They've been drained mm. of, of blood. And in a very thick, noticeable Nilf Guardian accent, um, as she's inspecting the next, kind of taking her hand and moving them across, trying to touching at the holes. Like, what are you here for this? Did you get a look at the creature i i couldn't know um there was there was this fog 
that rose up from this and he motions to the, the place of power the circle of stones and he says it obscured everything that's why I sought I know this mage in Oxenford he, he's very well and he points to one of the dead wizards a young elf the one with the broken staff mm -hmm. and he says um, Yoreth knew about him uh, he he sought him out for for help uh, to try to translate a passage from the book, um, but it he he refused or he was too busy or something. Anyway, um, Yoreth said that we didn't need him and uh, that the ritual would be would be fine. Uh, I'm, what ritual were you trying to make? I don't know exactly. We were just supposed to stand guard for any. Redanians that were to seek us out. Uh, I wasn't the only one. It's just I got cold feet and I I booked it when the fog started. I, I just I was running away and then I heard them and I heard them scream and you notice he's becoming livid and his eyes just you know lose focus and he says I don't blame you. This is Thought Squirrel Tell were smart, but this is not your average vampire. I'm gonna touch the paste that's on the ground of salt and white substances. Uh -huh. I'm gonna sniff it. Do I get get any scent? Eh, eh, would I be able to kind of deduce what this is? Um, make a Witcher training check. How so do I do that? It is a D10 plus mm -hmm. the uh, number of points that you put in Witcher training, which is your Witcher specific skill. Um, I think you had five points in it already. Okay, so plus your intelligence. Plus, uh, okay, so plus that. Do I get a plus two because it's vampire related? Uh, yep. Or is this not vampire related? Okay, so one D10. Plus, so intelligence. Mm -hmm. Plus five. So plus. Oh, hold on. Sorry. No problem. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right. Um, you notice that the sand and the salt has been mixed in with uh, a very minute quantity of silver mm. you know that for so you know vampires are notoriously vulnerable to silver um your thinking is perhaps that they tried to bind a vampire um you know that vampire mutagen and some of the vampire bo vampiric body parts uh, like the fangs or the heart uh, can be used as magical reagent uh, for many mm -hmm. things. So perhaps this is what they tried to do. You yeah. don't see any tracks, though. Even in the sand and the salt and everything, there's so much of it scattered everywhere that it should have been trampled by the thing at some point. Mm -hmm. There are no tracks in there. So not a catacan. The mist would explain it, but it's not a catacan. I'm going to check the next again. Is there any kind of ripping, tearing, uh, or or is this very precise bites, like of of something with extreme in intelligence? I'm thinking. You look at each one in turn, um, and you notice that aside from the bite mark mm -hmm. on their necks, mm -hmm. each of them except for one has also been. Um, gored by something like a like a big claw that um pinned them to the stones you notice it because the even though the it might have happened at the same time because there's not a whole lot of blood where that claw would have been would have uh, gone um but then there's one the young one with the broken staff he has a broken claw long 
jet black claw with one streak of gray on mm. it. Still stuck in its, not in its stomach, um, but stuck in a medallion mm. um, that they were wearing around their neck. And Simon, uh -huh. I'm going to ask you as the DM, does this claw look like a similar claw I've seen many years ago? Um, what was the type of vampire that John did again? I don't remember. This no, guy. yeah, I remember. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No? Nope, but um, with your Witcher training, um, you sermons that it's probably a Fledder or a... What's the other name? Garkane. The two... Let's call them feral type of vampires. But... But if that were the case, they would have made tracks or something. There's nothing here that I can see. And you, she steps back from the corpses. Uh -huh. She's going to turn to the elf. Where's this sorcerer? He's in Oxenfurt. Uh, it's four hours name? that way. Um, Idruk. He owns a place called the Lit Kendall. I left him a message two days ago, but he he, he was supposed to meet us here, uh, and he, he's not. Um, if you want, I can accompany... I don't want to stay here. I can accompany you. It's probably a good thing that you don't. Come with me. We'll go see Idric. He's probably enjoying himself. And so, very importantly, uh, this scene mm -hmm. takes place mm -hmm. while Idric is burning a bunch of bodies in a cave. And, by the way, I'm going to whistle. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to call, call my horse. Um, Your horse spawns atop one of the rocks. Awesome. It's a common, <laughs> it's a common it bug in like, the doo -doo, world. Doo -doo, doo -doo, yeah. Doo -doo, you know, and... Just like Vesper. I hope you don't mind a guest on your back. Come on, let's go. We have a ride. Um, because your guest is an elf, mm -hmm. Vesper does not mind in the slightest. And uh, is it a mare or a, uh, a Mustang? It is a mare. Okay, so she even... Um, because the elf is a bit... You notice that the elf is very young. And uh, he, he has a bit of trouble trying to climb up on uh, on uh, Vesper's back without a saddle. And uh, she uh, bends down a bit to help mm -hmm. him jump up, which is not something that she would do for most people. Mm -hmm. But elves being elves, animals tend to like them. Mm -hmm. And, and she takes off okay. in the direction of Oxenford. And as we ride, mm -hmm. I'm going to have the elf sit in front of me kind of wrapping my arms around him. And while we're on the ride, I'm just going to pat his side. Be like, we'll get it. You, um, because you're standing in back of him, mm -hmm. you notice that his hair, um, blonde hair is tied in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. And where the rope would be to tie the hair up, you mm -hmm. notice a um, strand or a piece of squirrel tail, but the rest has been torn off. Do I know what that signifies? Normally, the squirrel tail all wait, all wear a uh, squirrel tail, hence their name, squirrel tail, the squirrels, mm -hmm. um, to identify themselves, to mark themselves as members of the squirrel tail. Seems like this one either lost his tail or tore it off. Right. Before we get into town, I would take that squirrel tail off of you. Uh, uh, yes. And he, like, plays in his hair, tries to pick it out, and then looks at it for a, a moment and just discards it on the side of the road. Littering. Yeah. And you make your way to Oxenford. Mm -hmm. So, just as a clarification point, mm -hmm. 
uh, I burned those bodies like two days ago. Yeah, I'm sorry. It might have, might not have been two days. You, sorry. Yeah. Um, you were enjoying yourself. This actually takes it pretty much at the same time as you guys woke when you woke up after your night with Ariella in the tent. <laughs> okay. Because by the time Alona and Kihir are done eating and are about to leave, or Alona is a, leaves to go um, get a room uh, somewhere, when you open the door to the lit candle, Alona, you notice these uh, this couple, an elf and a human, uh, or with your elven eyes, an elf and a witcher, another woman witcher, um, walking in your direction. There's a, they're, they're both actually looking at you. Um, oh. Or maybe looking at what's behind you inside uh, the lit candle. Yeah. Um, Ilona will... Are, are you looking, like, at me, or are you, like... It's like, I'm looking at you, just in a wave of hand, and I'm like, oh. it's like, uh, greetings, lady in shade. Uh, we are here for a friend. Do you know someone by the name of Idruk? Oh, um, yes, he's just up there. Wonderful. Um, gonna leave. <laughs> the young elf is just staring at you, slack jawed. What? Elona. Manus? Oh, uh, at her. Yeah. Elona. She'll smile at and and wink at him and He's she... probably like sixteen or seventeen. <laughs> yeah. In, so in like, like in like elfie times? Yeah, in like elfie times. So he's in like like, like he's like age. almost a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, she'll smile and wink at him and uh, probably head back to whatever inn she was at before. All right. He almost falls off his horse. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna, like, grab him and, like, bring him back onto the horse. Like, He's like, oh, uh, yeah, I, um... There'll be time for that this evening. You, however, we need to find your friend. Do, do you know her? No. All right. Maybe she... sometime soon, but we'll see. Okay, and he jumps off the horse uh, mm -hmm. and says, uh, I'll, I'll wait for you outside. I can watch mm -hmm. your horse. All right, and stay clear of any peasants or guards nearby. They don't take kindly to your kin here. I I know. All I know. Right. And if you need, need, need anything, I will be inside. No problem. Okay. And she's going to immediately... Okay, so is this an inn I'm looking at? Or um, is this... It's a detective agency. Okay. It's right. it's it's just like a, a small two-story house and the bottom layer has been turned right. into like an, a, a detective's office. Okay. I'm going to slowly and quietly move up to the front door and see if I can look inside before Does, I open it. Do I sense anything that is going on right now? Um, technically, there's... Nothing magical on Lady Elsina. Because all no, just... your medallions don't react to other Witcher medallions. Dang it! So... Oh, it would be so cool if it did. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you see uh, a woman come in wearing the, the entwined snake medallion, two swords on her back, two knives on her hips. I, also, were snake you, eyes. Were you? Hang on. Were you entering, Koros, or were you just gonna like, like? I I was like peeking in to see if oh, I could see Idric anywhere. Okay. Yeah. When you peek your head in uh, through the doorway, you see Idric uh, with two other people. They're sitting at a table eating uh, what appears to be a meager stew. I just, I just like look up. I just see this person there. I look over to Idric and so. Were you expecting any other visitors like, today? Back away from the window. <laughs> uh, Idra kind of looks up and there, there, there's no one there, Adi. And as soon as you say that, the door gets kind of kicked in, but not to where or it's broken, but there's like a boom! And in steps in Elsina, and you hear this like like angry 
voice is like, Idric, you son of a bitch! Uh, Asenia, <laughs> what are you doing here? I didn't expect to see you anytime soon. It's just gonna stalk over to you. It's like, how dare you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. And she's what? like right above you and is just staring down, down, down at you. What, what, uh, what, 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 uh, what, what, what perchance did I, uh, what did I do? Yeah. And she grabs what you by the front. What hasn't he done? Huh? Yeah, she just, this Ariella just explains this. What hasn't he done? <laughs> And she grabs the front of your shirt, pulls you up face to face, <laughs> stares at you, and then smiles and then just plants a kiss on you. <laughs> she just, I know this goes immediately into a glare. It's like, who the oh. hell is this? It's like, and she pushes him off and gives him a punch on the arm. It's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I had to ride days to get here. Where, you, you, when, when did you get the note? <laughs> well, uh, I've only been here uh, for uh, a couple of, uh, maybe 10, 20 minutes. Uh, we just got in from a job down, uh, down near Brannick. Just it see. is good to see see you, my friend. It has been too long. <laughs> far, far too long. <laughs> oh, what are uh, what are you doing here? I'm here on a job. One that apparently involves you. Oh, oh no. Hmm. Uh. It's like. But we can talk about that later. I need to introduce myself to your friends. It is incredibly rude of me not to do so. And she's going to turn around to you, get to get to uh to Kahir and get 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 and Gillian and just do a slight bow. It's like Lady Alcina Var Nifgard at your service. There may be some jealousy bubbling up. I don't know. It's like the thing you'll no notice about the kiss, it's 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 friendly, but there's definitely some physical attraction going on as well. So. I just see you. I just see this. I look over to Egypt. I give him this glare. And then I turn back. <laughs> and I just go. My name is Ariella. Owl school. It's rare to see one of you folks wandering the roads. Hmm. And it's it rare and it's rare of me to see a lady witcher of these the Viper School. Touche. But it is good to meet you. And you, friend, what is your name? And she turns to Kahir. You notice that Kahir, while you were doing this uh, reunion with Idric, has been uh, slowly inching his way towards the exit. <laughs> And you, way, catch him, you catch him with, like, half his bag on <laughs> with a, a hand towards the door. By the way, Kahir, you would notice this. Definitely. Um, on one of the bags on her pouch, there is an insignia of a serpent twirled around the Nilfgaardian's sun and just kind of baring its fangs protectively at something. It's hmm. a um, heraldry from a noble house. Cool. So yeah, Kahir does have his 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 bag over over one shoulder, and he's like, "Oh, um, hello, El Elsina. I am Kahir from Vicovario. Have I heard that name before, Simon? Um, hmm. I'd say roll a d10 because mm -hmm. I know Kahir, your family is not super high up the nobility. 
Um, right. Um, I think you were like minor nobles, knights, mm -hmm. and such. So I'd say roll just a straight d10, uh, Koros, okay. and on an eight or above, you would have heard of them. Probably at okay. some like, you know, official function or, or something in, in your past. Can I add social et etiquette to that? Possibly. Oh sure, if you no, if you have social etiquette, yeah, make a social etiquette roll. Okay, let's do that. So social etiquette. Do, 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 do. No additional mods. Uh, uh well, with the um, yeah. intelligence. Okay, so, so with, so do I put a one d ten in input? Val oh no, no, just ten. Okay, a d ten plus what? your intelligence plus thirty one. What the hell? What? I don't know. Where is this roll? Wow. I do not see this roll anywhere. Okay, so so it's twenty one. Sorry, Appar apparently it 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 takes int apparently. Yeah. It, okay. It, it took it automatically. No, it's twenty one. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't even put that in. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, for some reason um, uh, the die roller here doesn't show it, but the one on Chrome has it. Oh, it's because you uh, you sent it to me. Uh, oh, whoops, secretly sorry. as the GM. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, whisper yeah. rolls are on. Yeah, so. ah, it's all right. Uh, so, yeah, you've heard of a um, Kahir from Vico Varo. You know that the actual title is slightly longer, as it is uh, common in Nilfgaard. Uh, it's probably some unpronounceable Welsh name. Um, mm -hmm. But the there is a noble family in Vico Varo, a family of knights, uh, and you remember hearing about this Kihir, but that was about, you know, 20 years ago, so that Kihir was like a newborn by, back then. Or almost. How old are you, Kihir? Yeah, 20-something, I think. Yeah, it would have been like 3 or 4 20 yeah. years ago. I've heard of you. Uh, there was talk of court when you were born. Oh, it's good oh. to finally meet you. I've heard I good that's... things about your family. I think we see, like, his cheeks redden a bit. Um, and he says, well, thank you. I I apologize for running off like this, but I, I really was just leaving. Uh, uh, Kahir, <laughs> you can't uh, uh, leave uh, just yet. You, uh, you need to uh, stay and uh, receive your payment. Yes? Um, Interrog, have you been catching up with the Northern accents? You sound different. Mm, uh, um, uh, sometimes, you know, you spend enough time in the uh, in the North, and their uh, British ways rough up, rub off on. And he just grabs like a like a, a mug with some ale in it. Do I notice that he's not stuttering? Oh yeah, this is definitely not his normal speaking voice. Mm -hmm. I just, I just look at him even more with glaring eyes. I just see him just lying in front of this lady who appears to have feelings for, for him. And he just keeps drinking the ale. Just. <laughs> All right. As you do that, we'll just move along on the streets of mm -hmm. Oxenfurt. There is. But one establishment, the same one you had rented earlier, Alona. Um, the innkeep, when you get to the uh, that establishment, uh, which was called, uh, what was it called again? The something rose? The rosebud. Yeah, the rosebud. rosebud the rosebud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got it right. The innkeeper says, oh, I'm mighty sorry. Uh uh, lady Elf, but all my rooms are full. Uh, it's all of them students from the academy. You see, they they rent the rooms at a premium price because it's uh, soon to be their, their graduation, and you know you know how the youths are. But he's I... bullshitting me, yeah. Oh, completely. Okay. <laughs> um, and he he says, but uh, uh, if if you were to uh, perhaps um. Uh, help, uh, help out uh, my um, resident minstrel here. Any motions to a young foppish gentleman uh, with a, a number or something? I'm sure we could find a, a way to, uh, uh, to to find you uh, some accommodation, perhaps in the stables. And you notice this foppish gentleman in a corner um, is—you've seen him play at the inn 
after you were done with your set. He was far from being as good as you are. And you recall people booing him off the stage. Um, but he seems to be like the main entertainment for this inn. So you might have upstaged the main guy. Uh, and uh, that might have caused some friction. Mm. I don't think I will. I think we both know that I'm worth more than a stay in the stables. And we both know that you're lying to me. He uh, bends over a bit closer to you. He says, but, well, lady, you have to understand. Uh, you're not going to be around forever. Uh, you and your your elvish ways, you're probably going to go off uh, uh, gallivanting in the woods uh, come the full moon or something. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to lose my uh, my entertainment. Uh, the, the students, they love the music. They love the body stories and, and all the, the lewd uh, sketches and, and shows and whatever, uh, what have you, that people can do. And, and uh, uh, Bernard here was uh, uh, was um, their main source of entertainment for, for months now. And uh, you, you sort of uh, uh, made him... Uh, 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 how, uh, Look bad? Cause that is a is word I would have looked for. Uh, was, yes. Bad? Yes. yes. Um, yeah. nobody has hundreds of years to practice the leer, you know? Um, no, I guess, I guess most Juan don't. Uh, well, so, yeah, uh, if, if you were to, uh, uh, stay for a few months, uh, be my main act, uh, maybe we could come to an agreement, but... As it stands, and he rises back to his full height, which he's like 5'4", um, and says, I do not have any room for you unless you accept to help Bernard here. That is final. Mm. Too bad. She's going to leave and kind of uh, head back to the lit candle as you leave you hear one of the um patrons yell out why are you letting her go away she was the best thing that ever happened to the rosebud <laughs> asshole <laughs> and you're out on the streets again yeah she kind of like sighs <laughs> And uh, heads back to the uh, heads back to the lit candle. And when she gets there, she's she's Close gonna completely. Uh, turn to Kier, who's I guess on his way out, and say, I'm "Very tired of the north." Oh yes, and he. <laughs> He kind of like steps in between uh, her and the, the, the door and he's like, yes, and you'd be very tired of in there as well. I can't deal with two witchers. There's two of them. Two of them. That 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 woman with the, with the elf boy. Yeah, yes, she who's probably right the here. The elf boy is Staring yeah, he's at like you right there. He's just by the horse. He's <laughs> just like during this whole thing. Oh, like the horse. The horse is like five feet away, uh, grazing on a pea, uh, patch of like grass and and um, and dandelions on on the on the side of the street. He's not even holding her by the reins. He's just staring. If you could see his hands, they're probably dripping with sweat. Gross. <laughs> Lady Elsina, you also hear Alona's voice uh, coming from the porch. Just, unless you guys are whispering to hear in Alona? No, okay. she wouldn't be. Um, I... Sorry, go ahead. Just gonna per perk up at that and be like, Ah, more friends of yours, Idruk. Wait, I've seen you before, you were here. And she's gonna like, slide past Kahir. <laughs> Like, extend her hand in this, like, smooth motion. 
Alcina, nice to meet you. My name is Ilona. Um, we were just leaving, actually. It's a beautiful name. Why do you leave so soon? Surely friends of Idruk would want to stay. I wouldn't call us friends. Oh. Um, Kihia, they... Apparently they only allow elves to stay one night in their inn, so I suspect we will have to sleep rough tonight. Pardon me? What was that? What? Uh, this doesn't concern you. And I think it does. Is it, Idruk, what is the inn nearby? No, it's really, please. Okay, here. Uh, we, th thank you, but I, I think we can handle this. I appreciate your concern. Oh, I'm sure you can. Um, Idruk, uh, the name, please. Rosebud. Yeah, I, I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Edric, uh puts his his mug down. Ilona, <laughs> were they giving you trouble down at the Rosebud? Rosebud you are, is it? You are my well. special guest. They are supposed to give you um, a certain uh, consideration when they're dealing with you. Uh, so so you are friends. All right. Well. Here's how this, I I like to make a point of trying to ingratiate myself with new people. So, and besides, Idrik is my friend and you are in the presence of not only a witcher and a knight, but a lovely um, uh, uh, in shade lady. And it will not do for either of you to sleep out in a barn and she's gonna like stomp down the road. To the I, road I wasn't barn going to sleep in a barn. I just, as she leaves, I'm going to look at him, and I'm just going to hit him in the shoulder. He just goes, <sighs> are you really going to keep up this lie? I don't know what to do. I, I don't even think she knows I'm not Nilfgaardian. Oh, so there's more to the lies than, than just the, t the voice. Uh, it was uh, a long time ago. Uh, we had broken up uh, and, uh, you know, I was drinking a lot. Yes, this all sounds very fascinating. Can you please pay us and then you can have your domestic dispute so we can go? Uh, there, it's been a minor complication, Ilona, uh, and we need to have a uh, conversation. Do we? Uh, yes, you will have your, your money either way, uh, but I need your help again. Um, but before that, uh, I need to make sure she doesn't burn down the tavern. One, one moment, please, and then I just rush down the... Uh, <laughs> as, he, as, he, as he leaves, Ilona says, Oh, but I thought you liked setting things on fire indiscriminately. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, and then she drops the, the mic. <laughs> yep. Lord, we are the shade squad now. We just bring all the shade. We are the shade I, squad. I mean, she is a bard. My soul hurts. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's like she cast vicious mockery for real. I was just about to say that. Was that vicious mockery? <laughs> Like, I think I just took 1d4 points of psychic damage. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, she just sees this going on, and she's just gonna follow, because mm. she's not done yet. Leaving Kahir and Alona alone in Idrik's place. <laughs> well, um, it seems they have this taken care of. Yes, where do you think he keeps his money? Do you think we could just find it and take it? Um, well, I certainly see where you're coming from, but would that be theft? Well, not really, because he was going to, he owes us, so we're just taking what we're owed. I don't know if the law sees it the same way. I don't think... 
you hear a <clears throat> coming from the doorway. Oh! Yes. Hello. There stands a young elf. Blonde of hair. <laughs> blue of eyes. Um, clutching his uh, bandana uh, scarf thing in his hands. And he's like, uh, I, I didn't mean to, um, to pry, but did Lady Osina did you did you introduce yourself as as Alona? Yes. The Alona. Alona uh, I you you performed in Dolblethana before, haven't you? No, that wasn't me. <laughs> oh. And he looks visibly I'm not from... disappointed. He says, oh, I, um, I must I'm, have missed I'm the cue. sorry. It's, it's all right. Uh, well, y you look like an Ilona I've, I've once met, uh, and she was lovely. So you're lovely. Um, I'll uh, stand outside with the horse now. No, no. Do I recognize this? I mean, how many fans have you had? Okay. Over the years. Yeah. I mean, so... I was not Ilona in Dolblathana, also. No, you were someone else. I was. Um, but he... The, like, he probably not doesn't even remember the name. Oh, okay. Um, thing is, is you... You know, the way elves um, grow and, and age... You probably don't look so much different than the last time you were there. Yeah. Because at some point you reach a certain age where your your physicality doesn't change that much. Uh, so he, but he, I mean, it's a face in a crowd. Mm -hmm. You certainly remember, you certainly do not remember, sorry, sleeping with him <laughs> at any point. Like uh... you would have, you would have remembered. So it's probably just someone who attended one of your uh, performance. Okay. Uh, so, are you from Dolblathana, then? I, 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 uh, used to be from the Valley of Flowers. Uh, uh, I left, uh, with, uh, with my sister. We, um, thought, well, she thought that, uh, friend, Queen Findebear wasn't doing enough for, uh, for Elvenkind. And uh, she convinced me to make a mistake. And, uh, yeah, so here I am. And, uh, 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 what, what kind of mistake? Uh, and you see him twist his, his scarf in his hands and he says, uh, she, she convinced me to join the Scoyotel with her. Oh. But she... I don't know where she went. We were separated during a, a raid on the trading caravan from Tamaria. I've been... A, I'm a copyist. I, I copy manuscripts now. It's what I do. Uh, to live life, but you, when, once you're in the Scoyotel, you're always in the Scoyotel, so... Um, Except now everyone's dead, so I guess I'm... Every, everyone's and you, in this region are gone. You see him um, glance at the paper, the scroll on, on Indrik's table. He says, well, not all of them, but definitely the, the, the cell uh, that uh, came and fetched me again. Well, and I you, guess you're free then. Yeah, he looks at Kier and says, "I'm, I'm not, I'm not a murderer. If, uh, if, 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 if it, if it counts for anything, it does. I'm, I'm a free elf. Yeah, uh, I just don't know where to go. Um, I, I thought since you're an elf, maybe we could stick together for a while. I don't know the region much." You should go south, friend, or back to Dolblathana. They're not so kind to us up here. And if you want to escape the Scoia'tael, 
I've been able to find quite a bit of freedom from them in the south. You mean in Nilfgaard? Yes. We're free there, you see. Uh, yeah. Um, it, it might be harder than... Uh, uh, when's the last time you were in Nilfgaard? Um, I don't know. How long, Kahir, how long have we been in the north? Uh, <laughs> hold on. You literally have to check. He opens his journal. Yeah, a few yeah. pages. Yeah. He's like, how many times has the moon gone around? I think two years, maybe. Okay. Um, not for only two years. Uh, oh, because uh, I've, um, yeah, we got news from Havocar traders recently that uh, uh, apparently they're not letting anyone from the north go into Nilfgaard, uh, even if you were out on business. Uh, even even if you were born there, they have, they have walls and, and gates and, and such. The, the, I don't know. Uh, that's what he told us, but it's apparently killing trade. That's the other okay. only other way to go through would be through Dol Blathana and Adern, uh, which we can, but uh, humans can't. Yes. Well, then perhaps you should go home, friend. Yeah. You wouldn't want to. Oh, never mind. Um, it was nice, lovely, nice meeting you. What what is it? She like sighs like she knows better. What exactly do you need this Duan's help for? Wait, who him? And he points to Kahir? No, no, the the mage and the Vatgan. Oh, um He glances at the paper again. I uh, says, Well, uh the, the... My friends made a mistake, and they tried to they tried to do magic that I think the Duan that lived here warned them against, and they did that, and they did it anyway, uh, and, and things went wrong, and, and there was a fog, and then, and then I ran, and when I came back, they were all dead. How much younger than me does he look? How old are you? I'm a, I'm a hundred. Oh, so he looks about your age. Okay. Maybe a bit younger. Um, I look at Kahir. Kahir, I think I'm about to make a terrible decision. Oh, I, 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 I didn't mean to. I don't want to sleep with you. Well, that, that is. I, I wouldn't. That's not me courting. Uh. <laughs> and you see, he's just beat red. <laughs> I wish I was there to see that. <laughs> I shouldn't. I've. The last couple of days have been hard. I'm sorry. My it's it's my brain. It's it. You're just very lovely. Um, yes, I know. Thank you. I'm gonna go wait outside by the horse. <laughs> and he just hangs his head in shame and exits the lit candle. Kahir turns and says, Ilona, does this happen often? And not that exactly, but something similar, yes. What a life. It's, um, not bad. <laughs> I think I want to help this boy. <laughs> I'm not sure, Ilona. Getting involved with the square tell. Apparently they're all dead and... He's 
all alone. By the way, you did notice the lack of squirrel tail on him. Mm -hmm. He seems to want to get out of it. And... Do you believe him? I mean, he doesn't, he's not even capable of keeping his thoughts to himself. You have a point. So what would you have us do? That is, if I'm invited. Of course, you'd be the one who would be doing most of the... I suppose I should really ask you if you would help him. I can't do much, but... We would have to continue with the Vatgan and... and Indrik. Yes. But I don't know. I think we should. Your your heart is usually in the right place. And if it tells you that this boy needs help, then we shall help him. I can't take him back home, but perhaps I can give him some peace. Agreed. So I guess we should wait for... That seemed very fraught. <laughs> <laughs> right. You should have been here while you were away. That was something. And I think he turns and like starts looking for the ale. <laughs> There's a half a bottle left by uh, by one of the uh, like I don't know cabinet or however Idric's kitchen is like on a counter. It's a bookshelf that's been converted into a counter, so it's just. Right. Yeah. I think he offers Ilona some before he begins to drink. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think they'll like he'll Kahir will like tell her the story <laughs> as they're just like drinking Idric's beer. Right. right. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lady Elsina is making her way to the rosebud with a decided uh stride. Idric and Ariella are running after her. Stomp, 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 stomp. Oh, you get to the rosebud. Okay. It's a small establishment. There's like painted, shoddily painted roses on uh, on the side of uh, each side of the door. One store. One story. Uh, awesome. two story. Two story. Yep. Is this like the tall, the tallest built uh, building here? Uh, no, the Oxenford Academy, the university. Uh, okay. Which which you would know because it's known, especially since you were in Novigrad. It is well known around here. It is a four-story high building, uh, completely walled, almost like a, a mini fortress. Okay. Uh, and on the way here, have I seen any uh, any other inns that look better? It is the only inn in Oxenford. Of course, it is. Fucking northern barbar bar bar barbarians. You just hear a drunkard. Um, who was hanging out outside the rosebud said, Hey, what's it, lady? And I give him a look with my silver snake, sna uh, sna sna uh, sna sna uh, snake eyes and just sneer at him. He pisses himself. <laughs> I thought as much. Move, I need to get inside. He and she, like, away. shoves him to the side. Not. He falls face first in the mud and then scampers <laughs> away. At, at this point, I imagine, like, a sprinting... Adric arrives. He's oh like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just falling behind him. Asenia, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> why don't you uh, let me take the lead here? I have a little more sway. Um, you know, uh, I... oh, Adric, I I appreciate it, but I think I want to deal with it myself. But I certainly could use your keen eye for backup. 
We should pull the um, the stunt that we did before um, back in um, how many guys was it? Oh, it's been too long. Um, I just that's I need you. I say I don't think it's the best idea to burn this establishment down. I'm not going to burn the establishment down. Are you crazy? <laughs> burn down the. the, the I, when I just look at him, I just start glaring. I just start glaring at him yeah. when he says that. It's like, no, 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 no. I'm going to go up to the barkeep. Yudruk, I need you to be near me, and I need you to squeeze my hand if whatever if I say is making the, I guess, peasants, you could say. I don't know what they're called around here. Um, the people drinking um, like what I say. Patrons. They're called patrons. Uh Peasants, whatever. Um, I need to just squeeze my hand if what I'm saying, if anybody hears me, they they like it or not. And we can go back and forth, make sure that we don't get our skins, you know, carved by some ra- some random mob, and we can make sure that your fr- friends get a room. No, oh, come on. Oh yes, of course, it's going to be <laughs> a great. And, uh, and she's gonna take his hand. I'm just oh. gonna immediately take hers. Uh, it's not exactly the plan, <laughs> but it'll work. Your hands are soft. Let's go. <laughs> and she like drags you inside. <laughs> Yeah, I the patrons drag. see just like two witchers, <laughs> one being led by another, <laughs> another one by, by the hand. On. This is how I die. This is uh, this is how I uh, die. Okay. Oh, we Idric, what brings you to the rosebud today? Oh, unfortunately, uh, not the good news. Oh. Ah, oh, what do you? Talking about my friend, it's great home. news, and she's gonna sh- move up to the bar. Yeah, with me still holding her. Yeah, with still hands, and it's just gonna like, it's gonna have a moment of brilliance, and it's going to like entwine her fingers with <laughs> Gillian's, and like bring her close in this actually... like clearly we're together kind of vibe. Uh, Ariel is quickly starting to like this and is going to keep going. <laughs> Idric, what kind of bad news are you talking about? And he looks, he side he like, um, cast he's a side. talking about our, um, our very expensive tastes. Um, and she's going to lean forward, you know, just like... And, okay, so what kind of man does he see, seem like? He's your stereotypical burly innkeeper. Okay. Hairy arms, um, not a whole lot of hair on his head, a thick mustache and a beard mm. uh, with uh, dirty clothes um, stained by, you know, ale, wine, or what have you over the years. Okay. It's been right, discolored. So regular so much. innkeeper, like, like. Yeah. Pass. All right. Okay, so she's clearly going to lean over the bar. And it's clearly going to show cleavage. As she does. It's going to lean over. It's like, I am so sorry to intrude, good sir. Your fine establishment caught our eye, and we we were looking for a place to stay. Make I am wondering what kid, rooms. Make a seduction check right away. He's not <laughs> really paying attention to what you're saying anyway. I, am I being able to assist because I'm holding hands? Sure. Give yourself a plus uh, two to that. Um, to that plus roll. two. Yeah. Right, so two. Remember that you are feared, though, so you also have a minus two to that. Okay, so it's just it's just straight. Because right. I mean, he's not. He's probably scaroused <laughs> at best. I helped. Okay. Is, is Manny hiding his face in his cap? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I'm helped. So, <laughs> Thirteen. He says, uh, if you need a, a bigger bed, Idric, uh, I-, I can probably rent you my own room for oh, we night. Need... No, no, no. I don't think you understand, friend. We need multiple rooms. <laughs> okay. I... I need your 
fi finest rooms. You see... That, that would be my own. <laughs> I, I, I own the biggest room in the end. Right. That's a and he says that winking at you. So... I also have the comfiest bed. Oh, I'm sure you do, and I would love to see it, but... I have a couple of guests that will be ca ca coming with me. I hope that won't be too much of an issue. Others like you? No, no witches. Just friends of mine who wish to partake of your ale and food. And I'm sure if you treat, treat us well, um, I have a little bit of sway in, um, in Oxenfurt. And sometimes, well, um, oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, uh, no, no, uh, no, no, uh, Novigrad, and and I work with many folks with substantial coin that if they hear good things when they are passing through, might give you patronage. I have two rooms left. I rented them to uh, an elf a few nights ago, but she uh, she decided to be ungrateful and ruin the entertainment for everyone oh that's a shame how much for the two rooms plus your loan how many nights i'm gonna turn to edric and especially to gil to get to gil to get Hi, to gillian and she's gonna le lean leaning close mm -hmm. and do like the whisper like hand thing mm -hmm. to her here and just say, I need you to play along and laugh and then just say however much time you need. Okay. I'll just give the best smirk I can get as a witcher and say, however, say what he wanted me to say because I forgot. <laughs> it, it's Rook. How much? Squeeze her. <laughs> I just. Uh some flames begin to lick at the side of Edric's eyes. Mm -hmm. and the staff crystal begins to glow a little bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, I told you, Edric, no magic in here. What, what was the what was the the barkeep's name again? The innkeeper's name? Um, the uh, innkeep is uh, we didn't do a name uh, before, oh. but uh, his name is uh, Sean. Sean. Yeah, Sean. It's like Sean, but with an eye in front of it. John, how many times have I helped you? How many ti times have I stitched up your family when they got them trouble? And you do this to one of my friends, and then the no, 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 no. a little bit brighter. He goes, "I will never." Idruk. No. Idruk. And she's gonna like stand in front of him and like hold him to the side. It's like, your temper is getting the better of you. I suggest that you keep it in your trousers for now. An excellent idea. And his eyes kind of roll into the back of his head. Uh, and he begins chanting in like this dark speech. And oh, he just points no. the man. Gorthras, Gorthras. I was like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I am, punch him in the face? Wait. I, am, I, I would like to cast the eternal itch. Okay. <laughs> oh! Sure. Um, Why? We were doing that's a, a hex, deal. right? I yeah, want that to is punch a hex. him. So can as I, you. Can I go and try and punch him in the face before he does anything? Uh, yes, but it doesn't prevent the spell casting. <gasps> Are you Mm-hmm. It's no, a hex. Fuck. It takes like two words. Son of a bitch. What? Oh, here, I will put it. God damn it. The hex, uh, the eternal itch causes inflamed itchy pustules to grow on the subject's genitals. The itch does no damage, but is a constant oh, no. annoyance, causing a minus one to all tasks. As well as this minus one, the target takes a minus five to seduction once in the bedroom. He... Gross. He... Wow, this was very oh, unnecessary. Yeah. Wow. He says, Hidruk, you... And he starts scratching himself. And he's like, <laughs> I don't know what type of magic curse you put on me, but I want you and your two... And he says a very bad word. Out of my establishment right now. 
or I call and the guards. This is the last time I'm never, ever dealing with you ever again, you mages and you freaks. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I punch, can, I, can I punch him in the face when he says freaks? What the fuck? No, no, I'm gonna, can I stop him for that one now? I grab I him. It's like, no, look, Since listen, I my friend. I didn't allow you to intervene for the hex, yeah, you can intervene and so yeah, I'm gonna punch him as in he's the... trying to go yeah, over gonna... the counter. Am I allowed to punch him in the face? It's like, yeah, yeah. sure. While okay. she's damage. doing that, I'm going to turn back to the barkeep and I'm like, Please forgive him. Please, we will make sure that the ca the curse is 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 undone. It he is. is a very protective man, especially with us two. And it seems that in his, you know how some men are. Of course, you are a smart individual. <laughs> of course, you want you you understand that pa that passions can get very aflamed. So. Please, I beg you, I will pay top Florin for these rooms. Um, roll for damage, Jillian. As the barkeep <laughs> says anyway, it is too late. You've had your chance. You've, you and your... Out! Out! All of you! You're well, never I... setting foot at the, in the rosebud ever again! I... How much damage do I do? Uh, I... It's your punch damage, so that would be a punch? d6... Uh, where's the punch? Uh, it's in your gear and inventory. Really? Uh, and it's a d6 plus 2. D6? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank yeah. you. And that takes... Uh, 4 the... damage. Alright, that damage is taken from stamina and not hit points. That's fine. Good. I'm gonna just punch him in the... F I'm just gonna punch him and then drag him out and I just go... Fine, I didn't like this establishment anyway. You're entertainment shit and I leave. And as you... <laughs> I get dragged out. Yep. As you I'm leave, going to turn right. to the barkeep and like, can I at least get a Toussaint red if you have it? No. No. Okay. Uh, and as you leave, okay. there's a, the shattering of a glass behind you on the wall, and that's where we're gonna take a short break. <laughs> And we're back. Hello, everyone. So, back to the lit candle for a moment. Good. Elona and Kahir are drinking the rest of Idruk's ale while this awkward elf is standing outside, trying his best not to peek through the window. I set down the uh, the tanker and I say, and that's why I left. That sounds wise. <laughs> Idrick, I, I wanted to talk to you. Why do you really not want to go save your fiance anymore? Well, it's, um, he kind of just, like, looks down into the ale. Well, I, I do, Ilona. I, I have a duty to do so. But you're not sure you love her anymore. He smiles and he says, you took the words right out of my mouth. All right, well, I guess that will change the words of the song, but. You don't have to Can change I... the song. Are you, are you sh I mean, it would sound much better if you're saving the woman you love. It doesn't have to be true, but it would sell better. Agreed. I just, I don't want to misinterpret your deeds or I don't know if you 
find some other woman that you love. I don't want to upset her. Just drinks again. I don't, I, I guess I'll just deal with that when the time comes. All right. As you say that, you hear the voices, the bickering voices of Ariella, Alcina, and Idric getting louder and louder as they approach the lit already. candle. I, I I like to think that Are, 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 Aurelia and Elsina have Idric by one arm each and are just kind of dragging him across the ground and just throw him inside. Yeah, we just like <laughs> unanimously just like in unison just like throw him inside. Oof. Well, that was a great cock up. Well, I mean, uh, what the fuck was that? He deserved it. The you know how close we were to three good rooms, plus whatever the best wine he had in that damn pit of his. And I thought I we had an explanation on using magic against unexpecting people. Who really do not like it when other people use magic. I thought you were better than this. And that black eye you definitely deserved. You know how the peasants react to us. They're a bunch of sniveling rats. Do you think they're not going to bite ba back after this? That I can agree with. For once. So, speaking Sometimes. of, I... I must admit, I was never, I've never had a good opinion of your school, but after this, I might regret that. We know a lot of things. Mm, and apparently, so actually I have a question for you while he's down on the ground. So since I am very pissed off at him, so I suppose I should explain how we know each other. Yes. And by the I way, know. you're in full view of Alona and Kahir. Yeah, oh, I, I know. Just, just I know. Like... She doesn't care. Okay. Doesn't no, care. I don't care either. It's like, right, really? Because so... I was curious about that too. Okay. So. I'm just going to roll underneath of the table. I'm just, just... going to stop him. I just oh. wreck him and just at the same time, a throwing dagger is going to come off of her belt and just like sink into the floor, like right by his head, like in front. <laughs> like, boom. Just reach up underneath the table and I grab, like, an emergency bottle of wine. Just... I also take the bottle of wine and I give it, it to, to oh, Elise. Like, Elise. I, I take my jambi, uh, my my silver jambi, jam, uh, uh, jambia and just, like, uncork it. <laughs> and then give it to a re 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 Ariella, sorry. Thank you. And she takes a chug and just and just looks at here, gives him the rest of the wine. So when I found this piece of shit, he was deep in his cups. We hit it off. Um and through a mixture of shall I say, um, the mutual attraction and interest in Witcher things, we bonded and went on a hunt together. Um, I was in the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the countryside trying to chase down something and he seemed interested. And so I let him come along. Um, he had quite a few things to say, say about you. Um, oh, really? Um, hmm. Is it true that you used your signs to torture him during sex? Okay, uh, uh, this seems uh, very inappropriate. Uh, um, uh, I don't know, actually. It's probably one of the many multiple lies that he has told 
various people oh, as I, I step on his cross. I could already tell after he switched into his accent, which I thought was his natural one. No, um, the, stu the stuttering one is his real accent, which he had lied to me about as well until his sister showed up. You hear a knock at the door. Uh, Zona right. will I'm... go get it because this is it's, <laughs> it's like the young elf. Yeah, yeah. It's the young elf, and he looks at Idric down on the ground. <laughs> with my crotch, with my foot on his I just, uh, I look at the young elf and I go, "Help me!" He's like, uh, "Um, must you must be Idric? Uh, uh, we came, see, Lady yes. Elsina and, and myself, to come and get you. Um, well, yes, we need to talk business. Come in, come in." The horse will be fine, fine on her own. Dude, a lot of people died. Um, I, I, I didn't mean to uh, interrupt this uh, family reunion. No, or, or no, what really. It is. It's perfect. It's perfectly fine that you did. Just... Thank you. When, as soon as you agree with him, Alona, you just hear a faint, like, uh, <laughs> almost <laughs> laugh come out of him. Um, and he looks a bit prouder of, of himself. He's... Uh, should should we go? Because we uh, we have a few hours, and I don't know where that monster is. I know, but we need to talk about what is going on. Idric, are mm -hmm. you cognizant and sane enough to get up and hear what I have to say, or are you going to burn something down? Oh or... yeah, like he burned that one guy the other day. Uh. I am uh, going to be fine. Good. Now, why don't you lead us to a back room where we can all talk and discuss business? This is the back room, but everyone here needs to hear what is uh, happening. Good. Except oh, for... so you're actually going to be honest for once. And like, she, her, she's smiling, but there's daggers in her eyes. Like, she's rightly pissed off because <laughs> she had a hint when you like switched accents when she showed up. But now it's like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> so. I've made terrible choices in character creation. <laughs> uh, no, I, I know about that. <laughs> I've made a terrible choice in character creation. Ariella, <laughs> as one witcher to another, will you make sure that everyone is prepared? I'm going to go to my set, my uh, my saddlebags, and get us a nice little bottle of wine, better than the swill that's at the end, anyway. Of course, I'd be. Honored to. Dale says, but Lady Elsina, we have. I need your help. I, I know, Perhaps. dear, but they need Perhaps. to know what is going on beforehand, and it is polite to give wine while we discuss things. I'll, we I'll will see be that. gone soon. Elsina, I promise. You, you, hmm? you said. Yes. Perhaps you could explain it to us on the road, if it is as dire as your Vatican situations are, it is perhaps best to take care of it as soon as possible. Uh, well, if I may, we are still awaiting um, grieving parents to come and... Uh, ah, crap. I'm sorry. Uh, there, There's a corpse outside. We have to wait for the parents. And I'm going to, like, slowly pull myself up sit down mm -hmm. on the bench. I just glare at him with knives. The, like, I have, like, knife glares. The and kid... we're gonna turn to the young elf mm -hmm. and we're gonna say it seems they have other business. We will leave as soon as they are done with it. Because I'm going to need them for this. Trust me. Alright, alright. Okay. Alright, and... Well, perhaps I can go get these grieving parents. I sent a, a, a runner for them. Please explain what has happened. All right. All right. And Alcina is going to go out to her ho horse, give it a small pat, and it's like, that motherfucker. And 
She's going to pull out a very old, kind of dusty, large bottle of wine, a Tucson Red that's probably about 75 years old. Um, and she's going to pull out a number of like che- cheeses and stuff and just going to put them in a small pack and just bring them inside. And she's going to start placing them down on the 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 near the bench where mm-hmm. each person is. And it's like, feel free to take. It's not much, I know. Um, it's not much of a meal, but but I I suppose to business. What? Why are you, you here? I was contacted by, I believe, this young man. Was it true? Mm-hmm. Were you the one that called for me? Yes. Yes. This young man is paying a bit of coin for me to come out. You, you, usually I don't go out into the woods, but he was paying well enough, and I need the money. So. We couldn't find another witcher. So it, his companions were set upon during a magical ritual. It seems they were trying to bind something. I think a higher vampire. I look at the elf. Do I recognize him? Yep. Uh, him? Nope. Who? I look at the elf and I ask him, who specifically? Was trying to do this ritual. Uh, it, it, it was uh, uh, Yorinth. He um, he came to you a few, yeah. He with the book. Uh, he 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 told us we didn't need your help for for the final translations. That he he got it himself. Um, he yeah. I I told him that it was too dangerous that even an accomplished spellcaster would have trouble. What the ritual were they trying to do, Yudruk? You know spell work better than I. I have some knowledge of the necromantic arts. Uh, The ritual... Uh, and what specifically was the ritual assignment? So the ritual was a um, conjuration. Um, from what you managed to glance at the tome uh, that other elf had brought you, uh, one thing is certain is that the ritual is was not complete. Um, it's bunch of old notes from a very very ancient magician uh, mage that um, had a theory that you could potentially create a small conjunction like the conjunction of the spheres and bring a uh, bring forth from another world a being um, but you needed to know, you know, the being's true name and its nature. And you needed to at least understand where it came from or what the world was. It's only theoretical. It There was no way this could have been applied, not with the notes that they had. So whatever it is that they did, screwed up or did something completely... Um, you know, it, it probably just called forth or attracted um, a monster from nearby. Right. Uh, thinking with my like fingers steep, mm-hmm. they say. Then nuts were for a ritual that would tear reality asunder. But small, like the conjunction of the spheres, but in a small place. It was too... The, the dangerous. Um, I said that it could not be done and that it should not be done. Uh, I... it, it was all theoretical. Why were your friends wanting to bind this creature in one? Uh, 
to to use as a guardian um, against uh, the Redanian uh, for forces. Um, we were to create a sort of haven for ourselves. And, uh, and you decided that you wanted to hire a vampire. I, I don't know if it was a vampire. Uh, uh, it has all the markings of it. Uh, like I said, there was fog. I couldn't see anything. Um, it is. It is a... Would I know that that's a power they would have? Um, you've hunted enough vampires that you know some of them do turn into mist. That is a power, power that they do have. And of the Lord, I understand. This is no... And I must let you all know, this is no fledder. This is no lesser vampire that we are dealing with. These are creatures that pose as humans, pose as people who can shape and change their form at will. They can fly at will. Explains why there were no tracks and why the binding ritual spell of silver and, and didn't work. They are from a different plane than us. They are a race all of their own, and they are smart, and they are deadly. It is uh, likely that the ritual only attracted uh, something nearby. If we look into local stories, we might be able to find a lead. Uh, maybe some tale of a vampire. Elona, Kahir, I will pay you uh, when the money comes in, but a lot of people could die if we don't take care of this. Kahir is skilled with the sword. I'm sorry, Ari, but I think he rivals even you. And Elona, your skill with the bow matches your tongue. I need all the help I can get. What happened in the tower, it wasn't it wasn't just because they were Nilfgaardian. They were dealing in weapons that could kill a lot of people, a lot of innocent people. I was scared that if we let them live they would just continue just continue to trade these horrific devices and maim and kill people who had nothing to do with the coming conflict I am sorry I yelled And no apology for me, my friend. Uh, I felt uh, our apology would be best uh, in private so I could explain everything. Hey, at least he apologized to you immediately. It took him a few years to apologize to me. I should let you all know that what Didrick says in this instance is true. But even with your combined might, we might... And she, like, visibly tenses up when you see a flash of fear go across her face. These creatures are not like monsters that can be destroyed by silver. They are hard almost to kill, but I know they can be killed. But there's a good chance that you will die in this attempt. I would have you know that before you set foot on the road. Kahir leans over and puts his hand on Ilona's and looks at her and says, is this what you want to do? All right. Okay. I thought you were muted. Sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, I... I don't. It, 
this works, it could make it for a really interesting story. Yes, I don't usually put myself in harm's way. Hmm. For... There's a good chance that you might end up with a mark to remember it by, and she's going to lift up her her ar- her armor and is going to bear like part of her side, and you can see like a large twisted gash of white scar tissue, just like running across. I've dealt with these things before. I am not a warrior. There's also, well, I, I would disagree. She's, she's not talking to any at, at any of you. She's looking at Kahir. But I swore an oath. And I will follow you, even if it means that I may die. You may not die, Alona. We will see you through this. For your friend. And he, like, nods his head towards the the elf boy. Mm -hmm. Cena pours him a drink, hands in the cup. Do you have anything to say that might help us? Um, uh, uh, when I turned around uh, after I heard the cries, I, I saw the fog move and I was afraid it would go after me so so I, I kept running and surely enough I think it saw me and, and, it, and it went after me but as soon as I cleared the tree line it mm-hmm. stopped it didn't want to venture out onto the road it hovered above the trees and 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 then and then f- vanished from his posture do i think he's lying or trying to hide something uh nope he's uh he's been right now he's staring at the cup you just poured for him Mm -hmm. um but his eyes have become distant again like they were in the clearing earlier today i'm seeing you do i know what the oh sorry touch him with some silver just to be sure I'm going to draw my Chambia. And if the kid lets me, I'm just going to, f- with the flat of it... Yeah, just press it against his hand or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is no reaction. It's n- nothing I would have sensed it. My amulet would have gone off. And Ariel's as well. So, what say you? Will you join me in this? I will, of course, split the coin with you. It's only fair. I, uh, uh, if I may, uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, we don't have much coin, um, but I was, since the cell is dead, uh, we stashed quite a bit of, of equipment in in the woods in a secret uh, place and you can maybe sell it back uh, if, if 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 that that's what you want that, that that's what I would pay you with that's all we have it's there's good steel in there uh, elven and dwarven um, I think I even saw a gnomish crossbow fine craftsmanship yeah yeah uh, they kept saying that bad things were about to happen and that we needed to be ready and he looks at Alona when he says that 
I, uh... War is coming. I think. I will not let the friend... Uh, however angry at me, I do this alone. Thank you. And what of the, re the, the rest of you? She's gonna, like, look at each person in the group. Not judging, just <laughs> waiting for her for an answer, you know. This isn't how how you court. <laughs> yeah, she just works and just goes. Another one for for my notes back at school. I'm down. And I could certainly use your eye. I hear that the owls have quite a bit of knowledge up in that keep of theirs. Maybe you know something that I do not. You seem like a smart woman. I can be easily underestimated. Oh, I'm sure Idric has much experience with that. I'm sure he does. <laughs> the combined shade! The shade squad is growing! <laughs> <laughs> and what of you, Sir Knight? Will you join us on this epic quest to destroy a vampire? I fear that if we let this thing go unchecked, it could have further consequences than just detriment to our health. I, I feel it's necessary to at least track it down and confirm what it is. And what of you, Lady in Shade? Your posture tells me that you want to run down the road, but perhaps your mind says otherwise. I go where here goes. Very well. Then we have a deal. And I should let you know, as one, as a professional courtesy, that if you and we do survive this adventure, that once it's done, I suggest you move south. War is coming. Tamaria will not bow to Nilfgaard, and once war is here, the folk here will not trust you even more than they do now. Mages, Nilfgaardian, Elf. They will hunt you. They will look for an excuse to vent their anger. Whether I think this war is worth it is... my business, but... Nilfgaard is safer for you all. The borders at Nilfgaard are closed. Not to me. You help me with this, and I will write you a writ of passage. I will allow you, hopefully, given my rank as a noble titled witcher, to allow you to pass through with your party unmolested. I do this mostly because I'm still fond of him, and I see that he has good company. Do we have a deal? Well, I think I speak for all of us, and I say it's a deal. Good. Then we shall wait for your payment, and then we will ride as soon as it is, it enters your pouches. I will go get my horse re uh re re a re re a re a re a re a re a re a a re a unless you have something that you want to discuss with your group I would love to talk to you and it's been a long time since I've seen another witcher there's a faint knock at the door we'll have that talk after this I'll get that up. 
I, she I raises her like wine glass. Just <laughs> it's uh, the family of merchants. I will, I will just quietly close the door behind me on the way out, and I will take them to their son and explain what happened. Uh, I will. And as soon as he closes it, she just says, "He's a real son of a bitch, isn't he?" Oh yes, big time. Yeah. I will try and soften the blow as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I'll make some comment about yeah, they're bereaved about how brave he was, um, and that you know, uh, and probably some lie about how grave hags prefer the noble of heart. Uh, um, just, just anything I can do to kind of ease their suffering. Um, uh, they, they tell you that uh, they they are thankful for the kind words, um, but life is hard, and uh, it's not the first time they lose a son. Um, or a cousin, or another family member, as it were. They have your payment. They figured that he would not have made it out alive. But at I, least it helps to set their mind at ease. I, I have done my best to preserve um, the remains, but you will need to move quickly. Um, he, I am afraid of the bodies. Well, move quickly. We'll, we'll bring him to the Church of the Eternal Fire here in town, and he'll have a proper burial. We thank you again, uh, Master Idric. And um, the father has this like small chest, wooden chest, that he... Uh, uh, gives you, hands out to you, and it is surprisingly light. And there is no jiggle of coin inside. Oh! It's in poor taste, but I, I open it. Alright, it's a banknote from Vivaldi's bank in Novigrad. Your payment is waiting for you over there. Oh, okay. Thank you, and um, should you need anything else, uh, there are some services I provide if you need closure. That is a top of them. Uh, and I just pat them on the shoulder and I, I go back into the detective agency. Uh, the father asks you to get the chest back. Uh, it's <laughs> just, oh! <laughs> it was just to carry it. Um, oh. Around. I mean, it's just a big note. I was like, oh, oh, my, my apologies. I take the note and I expand it back. And he closes it and he looks at the chest and he looks at you and says, uh, before uh, parting ways, um, this was his, you know. Keep it close to you. Mm -hmm. They give you a handshake and uh, the husband turns to the wife as they're leaving and you can overhear him say, uh, Let's go have a drink at the Rosebud. <laughs> I'm regarding some actions. Um, but you yeah. regret everything you do. That's I'm true. sorry. I do regret most things. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head back in inside. And say, mm -hmm. uh, small complication <laughs> with the payment. Uh, they gave me a banknote. We will have to stop at Novigrad before I can pay you properly. Alone, I'm mm -hmm. here in Ari. It is nearby where we are going anyway. Yeah, actually, the place you're going is between Oxenford and Novigrad. Mm -hmm. anyway. So, there is something we must. I need to know how comfortable you are with certain frowned upon schools of magic. I'm not comfortable with any schools of magic. And just look, my my school was ransacked on charges of such things. I 
and I've learned to scrape by. I'd have no qualms with anything. As I learned a lot is... about them. I can summon Yorath's spirit when we get to. Wait, I thought Yorath was the 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 dopey boy. Uh, I from when I asked what the mage's name was, it was Yorath, right? Wait, I might have made a mistake. Oh no! Uh, it's okay. Mistake. It's okay. Um, they're both named Yorath. Yeah, they're that's both. it. No, they're no, 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 no. Yorith, yeah, Yorith is the kid. Yorith the elder. Um, like flu. The mage will be called Aaron Wen. Okay. Okay. Uh, DM. Uh, then instead of say that, I can summon Aaron Wen's spirit when we have reached his corpse. It will give us potentially a more detailed description of what happened. <laughs> Somebody get that dog, please. <laughs> <gasps> I love dogs. What is it? <laughs> you, I cannot wait till we get back and you can meet my dog. She is wonderful. Idric, I apologize if I speak out of line. You have been a nice host. But I feel as if I'm having trouble trusting you. I have already helped you with one assignment, and yet you cannot pay me for risking my life, and yet you ask me again. Uh, how, sorry, real fast. Mm -hmm. We got paid how much for the, uh, the, the grave hag? Um, you were paid... Do I... We already split that, I thought. Yeah. You already split that. Try to look for it. Um, how much? Yeah, the total amount. I have it here. I just need to get to the grave hack page. Uh, it was like 400 or something? I'm trying to remember where the money 500 is. 500 divided by all of you. So 125 crowns each. <laughs> okay, so I will take... The 125 I have, and I will put it on the table in front of here. Okay. It is not the full sum, but uh, consider it the down payment. I'll see if it goes to find the dog. <laughs> it's a dog barking Just to let outside. You talk, you know? It's barking at your horse. <laughs> Kahir, uh, Kahir looks at Idric and says, that will do. I'm trying to remember where all the coins are. Is it in gear and inventory? Um, there isn't actually a coin slot, so I just... What? Yeah, yeah, you have to create an item. I just put item. one in my inventory yeah. list, yeah. yeah. It's weird. Oh, uh, it's I the one remember. thing that's missing from the sheet. I don't remember how much I had. Uh, I think Manny saved your a copy of your character sheet before. I don't know if he kept it. Yeah. Of the old sheets. Um, yeah, so but I otherwise, have... it's okay. It's the Witcher world. You guys are going to be out of money all the time anyway. It's like part yeah. of why you're adventuring. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, big, big mistake. Big mood. It's... Listen, before the errata showed up, I had to spend like all my gold on just two extra swords because of vi like viper stuff that's like i had no money it's the worst and then idric was a billionaire <laughs> so i figure you guys hit the road mm -hmm. yeah we're just getting out of there before the road is but it comes into play and I, um yep on the road mm -hmm. i want to propose something Okay. I want to, before we leave, I want to let the young elf man ride my horse. And I will go up to Are 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 Aurelia and ask if I can ride alongside her. She agrees. Okay. <laughs> yep. And, and it's uh, pronounced Ariella. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Um, sorry. And on the way there, 
She wants to start a conversation. I can I just imagine just one thing. I just imagine mm-hmm. everyone just going on a horse, except for Ejuk is just like walking. Ejuk is still walking. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't want to have a horse. <laughs> Um, Sorry, Ichiko. So, and she like like you see her. Well, you feel her relax. I don't know where like where on the set like the set the set the set the set the set the saddle she she would be. Um, Probably the back. Okay. She kind of sighs and is like, um, "Do you mind if I?" Say something. Of course. And she kind of like, you feel her re- rest her chin on your shoulder, your shoulder, your shoulder, your, sh- your shoulder. Just like in this like very just tired feel to it. It's like, um, thank you for your help back there. Well, I had to deal with him once using magic against his arm, helpless people, so it's not really a problem. He does have a temper. Yep, but I had to deal with that a lot. A lot of lectures came that way. I know it is not my place, but I feel as though I must let you know that despite his griping, he missed you. I could hear it in his voice. Every time he talked about you, he missed you. He is... He is my friend. Despite his deceptions. I don't even know if he's an guardian, but he is my friend. And I just want you to know that it gets ty- tiring sometimes, does it not? Yeah. Your, how is your trial of the green, of the grass? Whatever your school calls it. It was quite difficult for for me on my end. I almost died. I took to it well, to be honest. We'll just fast forward through. I figure you talk about... No, 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 it's just like... (laughs) It's just like... um, She says... Hard sometimes, you know. You, the empathy that you once had is stripped away. And it's just hard sometimes to pretend. And she just falls to silence. And she just like quietly goes to her that only she can hear. And just goes. Sometimes I wish I understand feelings more. It'd be quite interesting. I wish I didn't. And as you reminisce about Witcher school and Witcher training, a few hours later, the sun is almost set. As almost set when you reach this clearing in the woods with the four obelisks. This place of power. Both of your medallions hum. Idric, you can feel it in your guts. This place has magic to it. Even Elona and Kahir, you can't really put your finger on it, but there is definitely a sort of otherworldly quality to this place. It is calm. You don't hear any of the surrounding noise. <laughs> you know when Bless sometimes. You. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's okay. um, Are the bodies of the other elves still there? You only see one as you come in. Like I said earlier, they're hidden behind each stone. So, and I'll and I'll tell tell them that, and I'll point out the bite marks in the circle. 
Can um, I take a look at them? Uh, well, I'll do Ilona first, and okay, then uh, so, I'll go around. Uh, she is going to look at the witchers and say, is there anything special we need to do to prevent undead? Well, can we... I, Can we put these bodies to rest? From what I know... Well, okay, so from what I know, DM, do I think that higher vampire bites will lead to thralls eventually from these corpses? Make a witcher training check. Mm -hmm. And I will do the same thing. I also... Both of you do it. Yay! Mm -hmm. So let me do this. Uh... training, witcher so... training. So, roll. So, just no additional ten. mod. Nope. Plus I got eight. a 21. I got a 20. Yes! All right. Why am I rolling so bad? I should be, <laughs> I should be better at this than you. Because I know so, vampires, damn it. Um, <laughs> the myth that the bite of a vampire creates another vampire is just that. A myth. You vampires are a race unto themselves. It's they cannot. How can I say that? Um, they have a way of reproducing, um, which nobody knows about. Nobody's quite sure, but it is not the traditional. You know, I drink her blood. I give you a bit of my blood, and then aha, a new vampire. It's stranger than that. Um, and uh, most of the vampires, most of the lower vampires, are all basically like wild animals. Only the higher mm -hmm. vampires are able to, you know, they're sapient enough that they can they can speak, they can think for this, themselves, they can reason. Um, it's uh, yeah, it, it's strange the way the witch world approaches vampires. Um, but yeah, they're not, they're not like your classic, uh, Bram Stoker vampires. Now, if you look at with the roles that you have, uh, anything that we would know in our folklore, uh, IRL, garlic doesn't work. Holy symbol doesn't work. Stake through the heart. I mean, it's the same as a sword through the heart. Thing is, is the most, the more powerful the vampire is, the more likely they are of re regenerating, uh, wounds and um regardless of what it is uh, until the best ways to chop off their head um and even then most powerful vampires can come back from anything they can also hide from uh witcher medallions detection spells divination and they normally communicate only telepathically which seems to be their uh, natural way of communicating. Also, they're vulnerable to silver. Uh, they are also vulnerable to sunlight and fire. Oh, so silver does work. Yep. And uh, with the check that you have, you also know, which is also a way to capture vampires, any substance that is found in the bloodstream of a creature uh, that is uh, that's been drained by a vampire will also affect the vampire. The black blood potion is one of the most potent, but I mean, if you were to uh, take a drunkard and feed them to a vampire, the vampire would also become drunk. I actually have some black blood potion. Oh, um, but I know how to make him. Oh, I do. It's a specialty of mine. Yeah, it's um, mine too. <laughs> Ilona, um, she turns to you. I'll, I'll, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see what it does. It says, they're not going to rise up. It's, it's a folk tale. They're just corpses now, but we should probably bury them in case some ghouls pop around. Yes. Uh, if I may, if I may interrupt that line of thought. I still need the corpse for my ritual. I... Do you see him in here? I didn't think we agreed on that, did we? 
we didn't disagree on it. I think, Idric, it would be best to let him rest. Find the creature and save more lives if it decides to go on a rage. I don't know what the mindset of this thing is, but it is setting off my amulet. Actually, that's... Make a deduction check, Alcina. Your deduction check it is you need any additional mods for anything? Mm -hmm. that, uh, do I get a plus two though? Um yeah, 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 yeah. So two. Oh! oh critical Extra D ten Um you don't need the extra D ten. <laughs> oh shit. Um and uh, I'll, I'll give you the the info, and then the camera will pan out to uh, something happening at the same time. But um, mm -hmm. Lady Elsina, mm -hmm. as you say, you know, that, that you should feel your medallion humming, it strikes you. Mm -hmm. Vampires do not make your medallion hum. Yep. Oh, no. But your medallion hu is humming not just from the place of power you're standing on. It is now fully vibrating. Something is near i immediately draw but before my jambia and my silver sword all right but while you're coming to this realization as you're you are all of you you know scattered and looking at the bodies and everything um i think alona and kihir you were together yeah um Did you, did you want to, did you want to, uh, Elo, um, Elona will be, as soon as she finds out that the bodies, you know, that mm -hmm. the bodies are okay, she'll, she'll go to Kahir and she'll say, um, will, will you help me bury them? Of course. If only I had a shovel. <laughs> yes, I, I suppose. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Might not have time for that. Uh, um, are, are you all, are you all right, Kihir? You were. Do I feel that same vibration? I, I'm sorry. I'm trying to talk. I'm yeah. sorry. We're we're trying to have a scene. Um. <laughs> are you are you all right, Kihir? You were awfully quiet on the on the road. Oh, I was just thinking, and he kind of like goes about looking for something to, to dig with. I was... I, I wanted you to know, Ilona, you don't... You don't owe me anything. I... I feel that your friendship is enough. I'm glad to have it. Um, Ilona will, like, rub the back of her neck. Um... I, I know, but where, where I, I'm from, where I grew up, my family, that, those oaths, the oath I took, I take that seriously. It's, I don't have much of a religion, but, but the oaths I take seriously. But it's not a burden to me. I... That's, that's what I meant. I don't want to be a burden. You are not. And I promise if I ever feel that you are, I will tell you and you can formally release me from the life dead, but. Can we say that Kahir was going to respond, but he is cut short with the drawing of swords? Like I kind of figure like 
we were walking among the the, the corpses. Okay. You're a bit too far away to hear the drawing of the swords. Oh, However, you're not okay, too okay. far away you... to see as you're talking, Ilona, um, when you were rubbing your the back of your neck, you sort of a few seconds after as you're talking, so get like a cold shiver. And then as both of you look around, there's this fog, thick fog rolling over and nearing the clearing, forcing you to back off. And uh, the group finds itself in that circle, that place of power, as the fog basically surrounds you. You notice some of the trees shake and shudder, as if a being of enormous size was just moving them along like you would tall grass. I'm just taking out my sword at this point at the same time. Oh, Cena. Everybody Did draws. We... Um, Ilona's like clutching Stephen's arm. Her <laughs> here's arm. All right. Just immediately, I'll see uh, Ariella or Ar- Ariella. Sorry. Ariella. Ar- Ariella. She immediately like plants her back up against uh, hers. And is just immediately like pu- putting on some vampire, oh 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 oil, uh, oh, 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 oil onto her um, her blades and is chugging a black blood potion. Oh! You get prepped, mm-hmm. and from the mist you hear a loud roar, and that's where we're gonna end for this week. Oh! <gasps> What? Does that mean you're gonna come back? No. Maybe. We'll see about that. <sighs> but that was tonight's episode. Damn. I have made so many terrible character creations. You <laughs> fucked up so hard. I can't. <laughs> I mean. I can't. I love drama. I can't. <laughs> You made your ex and your current friend, like, best friends. You fucked up. Made your heart. We're not done. We're far from being done with all of your backstories. Mm -hmm. I have some more surprises. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you can't run away from Nilfgaard forever. Excuse me? (laughs) Oh, I'm not talking about you. Oh, boy. Listen, he didn't run from Nilfgaard when he was with my character. Seemed to enjoy it. That's all I'm saying. So let's just do outros, go around the table. Um, we'll start with our new guest, uh, opposite order that we did for the introductions. By the way, you can put in all the links and everything in the Twitch chat if you need. Um, Koros, thank you for coming by. No problem. I was happy to be to be to be to be to be to be here. This game game was a blast. I'm just glad that I got to play with all of you. Um, where do you can? I I I am hoping that I can be here next week. But besides that, um, you can find me on Twitter and Twitch.com at at c r o c o r o s r p g. I like to talk about D and D and RPG game and all that stuff. Um, and not only that, I next week is I'm going to be on Scraticus's channel, where I'm going to be during the ultimate episode, the final one of Wizards and Wardrobes at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm playing Redleaf and Ela- Ela- Eladrin Arcane Trickster. So if you are interested in that, come check that out. Not only that, but next week I'm going to be joining Lauren in Dungeon of the Mad Mage presented by Grimjack on his channel on Thursdays at 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I also DM on Sundays a game for the Soul Bear RPG where Simon plays where I DM a game called The The uh, the, uh, the Shattered Eye which is a sword and sorcery Roman in in. Uh, inspired homebrew game and they are about to be beset by unseelie sprites and one of them has one HP 
So we'll see how that goes. I don't know what you're talking about. Good mm -hmm. mm -hmm. earth, bad choices. Um, choices. Manny, thanks for playing again tonight. I was looking forward to this game for like three weeks, and now I've made, realized I've just made terrible life choices. Uh, <laughs> my name is Manny, aka Bag of Snails. You can find me uh, here on Twitch at Bag of Snails. Uh, or on Twitter at bag of snails with underscores. Um, yeah, this is. Whew, things are, are are heating up for me here coming into January. So uh, you can find me on Sundays at Laura Lania's channel um, for uh, Shadow of the Demon Lord with Pro Restarter. On Mondays, starting January twenty first, I'm going to be uh, doing another game with Pro Restarter Numenera. Uh, uh, Requiem of the Sand Serpents. It's our, uh, yeah, Sand Shepherds. Sorry. Uh, it's a Numenera game as run by uh, Colin Valkanet from the Phantom Roll Booth. Uh, Tuesdays, uh, every other Tuesday, I'm on the Phantom Roll Booth with uh, Monster Hearts at Nightheart Academy. And then on Wednesdays, I run a, uh, a Scion Anti Heroes game, which is uh, currently pre recorded episodes until January 1st. So, oh, and then on every other Thursday, I'm on Ballad of the Garbage People, also on uh, uh, Phantom World with a Stars Without Number Star Wars role playing game. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> Jillian. And there's me, the Witcher, who has made not so bad choices other than her significant other. And so, hello! My name is Jillian. I'm known as G for Gaming X on Twitter and G for Gaming One on Twitch. You can follow me on there for some random stuff. I do some PS4 variety streams on my channel. And currently on Tuesdays at 2 p.m. EST, I am part of the RPG Labs the Inquisition all female cast campaign, which is super fun. We're getting into some uh, weird trees. That's all I can say about that. Cool, cool. Thanks for coming, Steven. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. I'm Steven. You can find me on Twitter at WolfWizard underscore. Um, currently, every other Wednesday, I'm running a Burning Wheel game at Off the Table, twitch.tv slash off the table. There's an underscore somewhere. Off but, underscore, um, the underscore the table. table. Yeah. <laughs> I think we have one episode left, so don't tell anybody I said that. But um, uh, yeah, I do that. Um, my game, The Deep Dark, a dungeon delving game about uh, keeping your promises and helping your friends, is available at Drive Through RPG. So if you're interested, you can go check that out. And also, I play a werewolf in a Monster Hearts 2 game that you can listen to at off dash the table.com off dash the table.com there you go put it in chat cool thanks no problem thanks for coming uh, thanks for playing lauren hi i'm lauren i am jl underscore nice girl on twitter um i play lots of games um i i'm i'm still kind of in uh chats for next season so things are changing very rapidly and my schedule is out of date but um for now you can find me in all of the usual places every other monday i am on off the table twitch.tv slash off underscore the table playing tales from thersha that's D, D 5e every tuesday i am here on uh simon's channel uh playing in star wars points of light um uh, bi-weekly on Tuesdays, my episodes of my a podcast, uh, Too Many RPGs, usually come out. We're taking a break for December, um, but is starting in January, we will have uh, brand new episodes where we talk to uh, creators and players of, or creators and fans of actual play shows about the shows they love and why they love them. Uh, and starting next week on Thursdays, every Thursday, I will be on Grimjack 21502 uh, channel playing Dungeon of the Mad Mage with Koros. And Fridays I'm here. And that's it for now. 
you're doing stuff every day of the week. <laughs> uh, Pretty not much. Wednesdays and not Saturdays or Sundays yet. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm uh, wondering underscore DM on Twitter. Uh, all of our Twitter handles are up here on the overlay anyway. Uh, welcome to the channel. There's going to be a few announcements coming up in December for my um, to 2019 uh, schedule, at least the winter schedule uh, season. So keep an eye out if you're interested in uh, playing in games and such. Um, I'm going to be a bit everywhere. Otherwise, it's here on Fridays for The Witcher and uh, on Tuesdays for more Star Wars drama, which we have like three weeks left, I think, to this season. Two or three. Oh, God. Um, oh, God. Yeah. So no, last episode, okay. we ended with the discovery of Ewoks. That was nice. It was so good. <laughs> it was a nice break from all the drama. Um, and then on Friday, I just put Idric through uh, an emotional roller coaster. It's gonna be somebody else's turn soon, right? Oh like, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, thank God. <laughs> I'm I'm trying I'm trying to do each one of you one by one. You know, everybody has to go through the roller coaster. So have a good evening everyone. I uh, hope you enjoyed tonight's session and Bye. we will see you again next week.